In Phrase Express, you can create and save your own phrases, but you can also include external data from other data sources. For example, here we have an Excel spreadsheet containing a list of medical phrases and the corresponding ICD-10 codes. To use that in Phrase Express, you can either use the import feature and select the desired file, or you can simply drag and drop the file into the phrase tree into the desired position. Now Phrase Express gives you some options. You can either import the entire file as a whole, which doesn't make sense because it consists of individual items. You could create a phrase which would launch the phrase file in Excel in this example. Then you can import the file and generate phrases from each line, which means that Phrase Express copies the phrase contents into the Phrase Express database. And the fourth option would be to dynamically link the file into Phrase Express. This means you don't edit the contents in Phrase Express, but in the source program. And whenever you change it in the external file, the changes will be reflected in Phrase Express. Let's try that. Click OK. And Phrase Express analyzes the file and tries to guess which column shall be interpreted as a description or the text. In this case, it failed, so it thought the description would be the first column of the Excel spreadsheet, but we want to be this the auto text. So this is the shortcut you enter, and then you get this text. If you press OK, Phrase Express creates the link between the external data source. Now the file is linked to your phrase library, but the data is still coming from the external file. You can't edit it in Phrase Express. This is why the individual items are grayed out. You can't change them. So if you want to change the data, you would need to do this in the program of the data source. In this case, it would be Excel. If you highlight the parent folder, you see where the data is coming from. And if you want, you can cache the data in the local phrase file so it won't be updated on every program launch. To configure the external data source, click here, and this will provide you a variety of options. You can change the source and source file. You can even connect to a database. Let's check it out. For example, MySQL. You would provide the connection data, the authentication, and then you can perform a query on this database. The query result is used to fill the folder with the actual contents. To remove a data link, just highlight the parent folder and click Delete. 